significance of the symbol of element. So far we have studied about symbols which was given by Bergelius. Now what are the significant that symbols are as follows. So first of all, symbol represents name of element. For example, if you write at, then you know that it is a symbol of hydrogen. So we can know the name of element by just a symbol. See you. Then you can know that it is copper. Second significance is that symbol represents one atom of element. For example, if we write H, then we can guess there is one atom of hydrogen. If you write Cl, then you can guess here is one atom of chlorine. Third significance of symbol is that it represents one mole of element. It represents one mole of element. For example, if we are writing H, then simply we can also say that there is one mole of hydrogen involved here. Now we know that one mole equal to 6.023 in 2 10 to the power 23 atoms. This is one mole. So we can guess that here this symbol represents there. In that element there are 6.023 in 2 10 to the power 23 atoms. The next significance is that it represents a definite mass of element. It represents definite mass of an element. that is atomic mass. These are the main significance of the symbol of an element. Now, what is the atomic mass of an element? Now, as we measure the mass in kg, the length in meter, centimeter, millimeter, etc. and volume in liter, centimeter cube, etc. Now there is requirement of measure the atom. Now how can you measure the atom? How much quantity is there? So we have to find out the mass of an atom. Now, if you say there is 5 kg substance somewhere. Now, what is kg? We have taken a standard. Means there is a standard kg, which is equivalent to 1 kg. Now, any substance is a 5 kg, then it is 5 times heavier than that standard. Likewise, in the chemistry, there is some standards to which we compare the all atoms. First of all, standard taken is hydrogen element whose mass comes to 1.008 now the other elements was compared to this mass if they are integral multiple then we can say that this is the atomic mass of that element but further it was refused because there are many isotopes of hydrogen which do not agree with this because it is in fraction it is not a whole number and we know that the main contribution of mass in an atom is due to only presence of proton and neutrons. Next to hydrogen, the standard was taken is oxygen, 8 or 16. Then again problem was that there are some isotopes of oxygen due to which the average atomic mass of oxygen is not integral. And finally, the standard was taken is 6C12 whose average atomic mass is also 12. Now we know that 
in one atom of carbon there are six protons and six neutron and we also know that the mass of proton and mass of neutron is approximately equal so we can say that there are 12 units in one atom of carbon now we can compare the mass of other element with this unit now if we divide this 12 unit by 12 then we got one unit it may be a proton or neutron now we can define the mass of an element atomic mass expressed as to how many time an atom of x substance is heavier than 1/12 of mass of the carbon 12 atom atomic mass express as to how many time an atom of a substance is heavier than 1 upon 12 mass of the carbon 12 atom this is just the atomic mass of an element now we can define in another way the atomic mass suppose we want to find out the atomic mass of oxygen then it is nothing but its mass number a which is denoted by proton plus neutron and this figure represent the atomic mass now we know that there are eight protons and eight neutrons in oxygen so atomic mass of oxygen is 16 am here am you means atomic mass unit atomic mass unit and the 1/12 the mass of a carbon 12 atom or 1u we have defined above is equal to 1.6605 into 10 to the power minus 24 gram now next topic is how do an atom exist now we know that atom is the smallest particle of a substance and it cannot exist freely there are some exceptions like inert gases which exist freely inert gases exist in atomic form but other than inert gases they are not stable in atomic form to get stable there should be complete octet of their valence shell to do so they form molecules or ions so what is molecule a molecule is an electrically neutral group of two or more atoms chemically bonded together by means of attractive forces so we can define the molecule what is molecule a molecule is an electrically neutral group of two or more atoms chemically bonded together by means of some attractive forces now you are seeing that there are electrically neutral chemically bonded and attractive forces there are three terms in this definition the first one electrically neutral the molecule we are forming should be electrically neutral it should not contain a positive or negative charge at all if it contain it then it becomes radical or ion the second is chemically bonded the molecule which are going to form should be formed by the attractive forces between two atoms or more atoms and these forces are known as chemical bonds means there should be chemical bond between them if there is no chemical bond then it will not a molecule now what is different between molecule and compound there is sometimes misconception between molecule and compound we can understand this by just taking an example suppose we are taking example h2 o2 ns3 h2o co now we can define these we know that h2 is composed of only hydrogen atoms there are two hydrogen atoms 
when they combine they form h2 in case of oxygen there are two oxygen atom and they combine to form o2 in case of nh3 there is difference there are two types of atom nitrogen and hydrogen there is one nitrogen and three hydrogen which bonded chemically and forms nh3 that is ammonia in case of h2 there are also two types of atom oxygen and hydrogen number of oxygen is 1 and number of hydrogen is 2 and can they chemically combine and form h2o in case of co2 also there are two types of atom carbon and oxygen there is one carbon and two oxygen and finally they form co2 now according to our definition all these are molecules but are they compound or not here we are seeing h2 and o2 in this case this belongs to one category and ammonia h2co2 this belongs to another category here we can differentiate between two, these two categories that in first category the molecules are composed of only one type of atom but in the second category the molecules are composed of more than one type of atoms so the second category falls in the compound but they are still molecule so we can say all molecules are compound but all compound are not molecule all molecules are compound but all compound are not molecule now types of molecules number 1 molecule of element what is molecule of element now first of all you have to know what is element we know that element is the substance which is made up of only one type of atom for example hydrogen copper silver gold if you talk about a particular element like copper then it is composed of only one type of atom like atoms of copper if you talk about hydrogen then it is composed of only one type of atom that is hydrogen atom now what is molecules of atom we can define it if atom of the same element combine together to form a molecule then it is known as molecule of element for example hydrogen this is atom now we know that atom cannot exist in free form it should form ion or molecule by just chemical combination now if you want to form the molecule of hydrogen then there is h2 which is molecule of hydrogen and it is denoted by hydrogen gas this is the molecule of element which element hydrogen element likewise oxygen oxygen is also unstable in free form it form molecules by this chemical combination and there is o2 this is known as oxygen gas these are the molecule of element so you can define the molecule element the molecule of animal element contains two or more similar atoms chemically bonded together now we take another example like ozone you have heard of that the formula of ozone is o3 this is also a molecule of oxygen element because there are three oxygen element bonded together this is ozone now if you talk about inert gases like helium neon argon krypton they exist as a single atoms and there is atomicity will be 1 now the second category of molecule is molecules of compound now what is molecule of compound we have seen former the difference between compounds and molecules the molecule of a compound contains two or more type of atoms chemically bonded together for example the molecule of hydrogen chloride this is represented by hcl and you can see here that there is one type of atom is hydrogen and another one is chlorine so it's a molecule of hcl there are many examples sulfur dioxide represented by so2 sulfur trioxide represented by so3 
H2SO4 represented by H2SO4. In this case, there are three types of atom: hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. So it's a compound, and whole is the molecule of compound. Now, next is what is the atomicity? What is the atomicity? The number of atoms present in one molecule of an element or compound is called its atomicity. For example, atomicity of noble gases like helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. This comes to one because they exist in atomic form. They do not form molecules or ions. So the atomicity is one. Next, if you want to find out the atomicity of oxygen gas, then it comes to two because oxygen exists in the form of O2. So there are two atoms of oxygen. So atomicity of oxygen is two. Likewise, atomicity of nitrogen is also two because formula comes to N2. Atomicity of ozone is three because formula is now atomicity of phosphorus is four because it exists as P4. And atomicity of sulfur is eight because it exists as S8. Now, if you want to find out the atomicity of molecule of compound like HCl, then it comes to two because there are two atom, one of hydrogen and one of chlorine. If you want to find out atomicity of NH3, that is ammonia, then it also comes to two because there are two types of atom. First one is nitrogen and second one is hydrogen. Now, if you have to say that how many atoms are present in ammonia then answer is 4 why because there are we know that two types of atom of nitrogen and hydrogen now question is there are how many atoms not how many types of atom so we can just sum the atoms we know that there are only one nitrogen atom there are three hydrogen atom so there are total Four atoms in ammonia. If you are set to count number of atom present in H2SO4, then there are two hydrogen atom, one sulfur atom, and four oxygen atom, and total is nine. And there are three type of atoms. That is hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. Now next topic is molecular mass. So far, we have studied about atoms and atomic mass. Now, the term molecular mass. We have seen the molecules of different types, like molecules of element and molecule of compound. Now, we need the measure the mass of molecule. Now, again, we can we have to compare the mass of one molecule irrespective to another. So, we can define the molecular mass. The molecular mass of a substance may be defined as the relative mass of its molecule. H compared to the mass of an atom of carbon 12. So, the molecular mass of a substance may be defined as the relative mass H compared to mass of 1/12th of carbon 12 atom. This is just the sum of atomic masses. Of the molecule given. For example, if you are said to find out the molecular mass of HCl, then just we have to add the atomic mass of hydrogen and chlorine. We know that atomic mass of hydrogen is one, and atomic mass of chlorine is thirty-five point five, and there is only one hydrogen and one chlorine in this molecule. So total is thirty-six point five. And this is the molecular mass of HCl. Now, if you are said to find out molecular mass of H2SO4, then simply write down the types of atom: hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. And atomic mass of respective atoms: hydrogen's atomic mass is one, sulfur atomic mass is thirty-two, and atomic mass of hydrogen is sixteen. Now, how many numbers of eight atoms? There are two hydrogen atom, one sulfur, and four oxygen atom. So there is two. There is thirty-two, 
and 64. Total is 98. Atomic mass of H2SO4 is 98. So likewise we can find out the molecular mass of any molecular compound. Now atoms are the components of molecule and the molecules are the component of elements and compound.